this video, we will be replacing the cabin filter in this 2019 Jeep Compass. Through the passenger side door, we can gain access to the area that we will be working in. The cabin filter is located behind the glove box. We first need to remove our door side trim piece. Using a flathead screwdriver, we can very gently pry that piece off. And this will give us access to our first T25 head bolt that needs removed. Next, we're going to shift our focus to the bottom of the glove box area where the passenger would have their feet. Taking a look underneath there, we have a bit of carpet that we can pull away which will reveal two additional T25 screws that need to be removed. Next, we need to open the glove box, which will give us access to a few additional screws that will need removed. Taking a look up underneath there, I can see that there are three T25 Torx screws. We can then very gently work the glove box off of the retaining clips. However, there is a wiring harness that is still connected to the glove box, which we will need to remove. If we take a little bit closer look, we can see that there is a small tab that needs to be released off of the holding clip. To do this, I'm going to use a small flathead screwdriver and just very carefully work that wiring harness off. And then I can continue to very gently work that glove box out. At this point, we have a nice clear view and lots of access to everything behind where the glove box is located at. We want to locate our cabin filter housing location first. This sits directly behind a metal retaining brace which will have to be removed. On this retaining brace, we have a T25 screw, as well as a 10 millimeter bolt. At this point, we have full access to our cabin filter housing. There is a cover that is concealing the cabin filter, and there is a Phillips head screw that is holding that cover on. And at this point, we are ready to remove the cover. However, there is a small tab on the right side of the cover that is still holding it on. Before you continue, make sure you note the direction of airflow as the filter is installed. So in this one, it is pointed down. So we want to make sure our new one will also be pointed down. And we can then remove that filter from the vehicle. Before continuing, I like to make sure that my new cabin filter looks similar to my old cabin filter. This one looks pretty good. 
Again, we want to make sure that the airflow directional arrow is pointed down when we install this. Reinstallation is done in the reverse order as the removal process. First, we have the filter, double checking that directional arrow. Then we have our cover plate. After that, we have our retaining Phillips head screw followed by our bracket. That bracket has our 10 millimeter and T25 Torx head screw. After that, we can very gently work on the glove box and connecting the wiring harness to the glove box light. And reinstall our six Torx head screws. One on the side, two on the bottom, and three inside the glove box. And lastly, we can install that door side panel. At the time of service, this vehicle has about 10,000 miles on the engine. The manufacturer of the vehicle recommends the cabin filter be replaced every 20,000 miles or two years. Comparatively, the recommendation by the manufacturer of the filter itself recommends 15,000 miles. Given that we are under that mileage count, we can see how dirty it actually is after a little bit over a year in service. It's not super terrible, but it sure isn't clean.